was Deep River Blues, and uh, let me show you sort of how to play it. Okay, uh, by the late great Doc Watson. So it's in E, and this is my low E and high E if you want to tune it up. It starts out with this great E seventh chord. Now, again, if you're a finger picker, you really need to sort of get some finger picking under your belt because this is a not the easiest piece in the world to learn. So let's start out with this, those first two chords. So the first chord is an E seventh chord. And what am I doing? First fret, I mean first, fifth fret on the second string, first finger is what I meant to say, and then second finger on the fourth string, sixth fret. So those two kind of looks like a C chord. Now it gets tricky. So ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string, pinky on the seventh fret of the E string. So there's the chord. Now this chord, you play the E in these guys. You don't want to play the A with it. It's just too messy. So if you're finger picking it, what you're doing. You're doing sixth, sixth string to fourth string. And here's the pattern. I'll move sideways so you can see a little bit. So pinch, finger. One and two. Next, up here you're going to shift to an E diminished chord. What's an E diminished? Well, fifth fret on the fourth string with the first finger, fifth fret on the second string with the middle finger, sixth fret on the third string with the ring, and sixth fret on the first with the pinky. Again, skip the A. Same pattern. If you can see this. All right, real slow. Okay, so now if you put those two together, you get. comes the fun stuff. We got a shift like this. Now Doc, if you listen to Doc, he, he plays it like that. I'm not doing that. I'm doing this. hand first. So I'm up here on this E. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first and the third string, third fret, and slide up. I'm using my middle two fingers. So it's... And then to an E chord. Now over here in the right hand, what's going on? So when I'm on the C7th, I pinch the top and bottom. Now, when I come down here to three and four, my thumb has dropped to the G string. Okay, that's the big switch here. And then, and you get back to an E chord. And you just play a regular. So slowly it's. I know that's not slow enough. Two, three, four. Then 
we get to the A7. So what am I doing there? Well, my thumb is now on the fifth and the fourth. And my melody, here's the A7 chord that I'm using. It's really just about that finger is all I need to hold down. The melody is going like this. So that's the first string, third fret, second fret, open, B string, open, hammer to the second. Now with picking, a little tricky, I know. So we're going over here. Maybe this will help, maybe not. So three, four. An E6, which is an E with this pinky here, on the second fret of the B string, and the pick goes. Seventh, I'm doing this alternating bass. So fifth string, fourth string, sixth string, fourth string, and I move the middle finger over to the sixth string on the second fret. together. And then, then let me look at the right hand for you. So, so far we've done this. One, two. string so that's open low E fourth fret which is a G sharp open A first fret A second now you're on a B seventh chord so it's and again I'm doing this crazy so that's a B seventh this bass note, bass figure, I should say, and grab that high E string, and when I come over, we got this guy over here, so that's a bit of a, a knuckle buster, as Chet Atkins used to say. And then, now this 
two different endings, so I'll show them both to you. Uh, one not so fancy, one fancy. So he gets to the end. So I'm getting that E note down here with this uh, middle finger. And I'm a tricky guy because I can get both the E, I mean the A and the D string with my ring finger, but you can go. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's just easier for me and it's much more crowded um, with the other finger for you guys to see what's going on. So. so that's the so-called simple ending. Here's the more complicated one. string, I mean the E note on the D string, second fret D. Pull off to the first, pull off open, and then end up on the second fret of the A string. And then you go to the D, and then you do the same thing on the A string. So I hope some of that was helpful. I know it's a it's a daunting task, but uh, have fun. It's a great piece.